What's going on everybody? Black Reality TV. I'm back at y'all with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den boxing community, man. So check this out, man. We are one week away from the big, highly anticipated rematch that everybody wants to see. Deontay the Bronx Bomber Wilder versus Tyson Fury. The rematch, the highly anticipated rematch, the controversial rematch that took place December 2018. Um, Deontay Wilder, man, is a very, very dangerous puncher. Arguably one of probably the hardest puncher in boxing history you know and um Tyson Fury came out and said a lot of things about how Deontay Wilder is a one-trick pony uh all he has is the big right hand um his signature his signature right hand and, I, and I'm, I'm and I'm gonna debunk all that you know in this video and um a lot of people were saying um that Tyson Fury won uh majority of the rounds and, and you hear uh Tyson Fury came out and said that he beat Deontay Wilder easily he beat Deontay Wilder 10 rounds to two he even says that the two uh two rounds that he lost that it was two knockdowns which was round nine and round 12 that when he got it back that he won those rounds too that he claimed um you know he's made all these different tra changes um getting rid of uh, Ben Davison getting uh Sugar Hill you know with the crunk gym roots you know Going back to Manuel Stewart days, um, so many of these changes cut man, you know, because he had a, a huge gash under his eye that he lucky that the fight didn't get stopped against Ala Wallin. Um, and you know, he, Deontay Bronze Palmer Wilder is going to target that eye. Uh, I've rewatched that fight several times over the past um, couple of days, and I, I paid attention to the first four rounds I, I kept replaying like at least three to four times the first four rounds of that fight and um I, and this is why I feel Tyson Fury is in huge trouble and I, I honestly feel like there's really nothing that he can do that that is nothing that he's gonna bring to the table that I think is gonna be totally different I don't I, don't, I just don't think it is he sits there saying that he wants to take out Deontay Wilder out in two rounds that means he's gonna have to sit down on his punches and the history of Tyson Fury, when Tyson Fury does go down, is when he wants to try to sit down on punches, he's going to get put on his back. You look at his pro debut, he got dropped with an overhand right, you know, trying to trying to exchange, trying to sit down on his punches. Uh, Steve Cunningham, he got hit with a huge overhand right. He got up for, he got up, he got up from both of those punches. I you know, I give him credit for that. But you're telling me that you want to sit down and trade punches with arguably the hardest puncher that we've ever witnessed in boxing. I got to see it to believe it, baby. I got to see it to believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe he's. I don't believe he's gonna sit down on his punches. Now I believe he 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 will he will try to do it in spots. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see him sitting down on his punches and going toe to toe because if he does, it's gonna be a short night. I believe personally, and this is my opinion. I don't believe this fight is going past six rounds. Like I said, I watched the first four rounds of the fight, and Deontay Wilder. Yes, he was he was a little jittery, a little anxious. You know. He was missing. He he was missing a lot with the right hand. You know when he was trying to go upstairs with, especially the overhand right. But he did a lot of things, subtle things, well that that a lot of people wasn't paying attention to because you know the, he was sticking his tongue out, putting his hands behind his back. You know, putting his hands up in the air, showboating. You know, and, and, and it took away. And you know, and I'm glad Paula Malinaji is not you know being the telecast, uh, being uh, one of the main guys. Uh, covering this fight when this fight is uh, going to take place next week. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm glad that he got away. Deontay got away from the Showtime. You know what I'm saying? That bias ass um, HBO remix commentary that they want to put on on Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Because you watch the first four rounds. Deontay Wilder was landing some really stiff jabs to the stomach. He was landing some good stiff jabs up top. You know, now Tyson Fury, you know, he, he, did, he did good um, throwing some nice jabs on Deontay, but he didn't really do much in the first four rounds that people was giving him credit for. People was giving him credit for all the showboating and the antics. Deontay, Lando, Deontay Wilder was landing some good, um, some good body shots in the fight. Especially in that first four rounds. Like I said, pay attention to the first four rounds. You know what I'm saying? I thought he won three of the first four rounds. A lot of people thought he won all four first four rounds of the fight. You know, you can make the argument. You know, and then when Tyson Fury tried to uh he felt glue he tried to feel he was feeling himself in the first round that i've watched uh in the fight deontay wilder caught him with a check left hook and immediately backed up now if deontay wilder is just the right hand and all he has is the right hand why did he back up as, as soon as deontay wilder landed that check left hook and caught him when when, when tyson fierce started feeling himself tried to sit down on his punches 
then he then he, he he went back on that bicycle all right and then Deontay Wilder was tagging him with that jab in the third and fourth round and busted his nose up and had a bleeding in in, in, the, in, the, in the fight you know and then when you saw Deontay Wilder getting his rhythm later in that fight you started seeing him get uh more timing and more leverage on that right hand and I still say he didn't even land those two knockdowns he didn't even really land land on Tyson Fury flush you know what I'm saying I believe this time he's gonna land on the flush and if like I said if he decides to um like I said go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Deontay Wilder this is gonna be a shorter night I mean I think if he does this shit it's gonna be inside of three four rounds tops but I'm pushing it towards six. I got a I got a six round devastating knockout uh by Deontay Wilder. I think he's gonna catch him with a nasty overhand right and put him out for the count in devastating fashion. Now that's that's how I see this fight playing out. I see Deontay doing a lot of similar things that he did in that first fight, and he did well that was going unnoticed based off the bias ass commentary. He's gonna mix it up. Left, he's gonna use that jab, mix it up, hide that right hand, throw the jab to the stomach and to, and to the end and up top, mix it up, throw some body shots, mix it in, get him occupied, hit him, hit him with a left hook, get him occupied, focusing on that left hand. He's gonna do something, he's gonna do similar things that he did in the Luis Ortiz 2 fight, but he's gonna be more, he's gonna be more aggressive in this fight because Tyson Fury is not as good of inside fighter as Luis Ortiz is. He's not. He's just not. Let's let's just be honest. Now Tyson Fury, he has he has better footwork than Luis Ortiz. And he and he's and he's and he's and he's tall. He's six foot nine. So it, you know, he's the he's the bigger man. But I just don't feel like Tyson Fury is gonna want to sit down and commit because soon he get hit with either left or the right. He's gonna revert back to what he knows. And by him added on to that weight. Adding, 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 uh, adding weight is gonna slow him down, and he's gonna be a sitting duck straight line for Deontay Wilder's right hand. Now, reason why Tyson Fury is gonna want to do that and go on the inside and try to press the action is to smother his punches and to keep Deontay Wilder on the high guard and not have that right hand on his on his hip. Because when Deontay Wilder has that right hand on his hip, he's so dangerous. He can loop with that right hand. He can throw it straight. There's so many different ways he can throw that right hand. So that's why Tyson Fury is going to want to do it. But the game plan is not going to work because Tyson Fury does not have the power. And he can try to hype himself all he wants. He does not believe he's going to knock out Deontay Wilder in the second round.